Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to be talking about grades from the instructor's perspective. Here we have showing the members home page. To get to the classroom dashboard you want to go to the top and you want to click on classes. Once here you can see that we are currently on Jane Austen's instructor dashboard. If you are on another dashboard, maybe your student's dashboard, know that you can come over here to the right and you can switch the dashboard view to instructor. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go to my classes widget and we're going to click on chemistry. Once here, in order to set up the grading scale for your class, if you choose to grade, you're going to go ahead and click on your title of your class on the class home page. And this is going to bring us to your edit class page for your class. So we're going to click over on the grading tab. And here you're going to see that you have several scales that you can choose from that we have entered for you as a default. We have no grading if you choose not to grade your class. If you choose not to grade your class, I'm going to go ahead and save these changes. It's going to bring us back to our class home page. I'm going to scroll down a bit and you're going to see the grading tab has disappeared because you're not keeping grades. So we're going to go back up and we're going to choose a grading scale for chemistry. So I'm going to click on chemistry again, go to the grade tab, and we're going to change the grading scale to one of the defaults. Now you could choose a percent only if that's all you want to give. You could do a pass fail, standard letter grade, standard letter plus minus. So before we actually choose a grading scale for chemistry, I'm going to show you how you can manage these scales and create your own if you choose. So we're going to go up here to our manage scales. And um, it does give us a warning that if there's any changes you've made to any of these tabs to please update it first, save it, or you will lose your changes. So we've made no changes. We're going to go to manage scales. We're going to say OK. And here you can see the default to grading scales. If you'd like to look at them to see what they actually are, you can click on the scale levels. So let's go to our standard letter. And we can see the scale that we've created. We have A, B, C, D, and F with minimum percentages. And we've given each a level name with a GPA value. So let's go back a page. If you'd like to add a scale, you can go ahead and add a grading scale. Give it a name and hit save. Once you create it, you'll need to add a scale level and this is where you can add your scale level. Okay, let's get back to our class home page. I'm just going to go to assignments and homework and add chemistry, go back to my class home page. And then I'm going to click on the edit chemistry and I'm going to click on the tab for grading. So now we're going to go ahead and choose a standard letter. Now I can weigh my categories that I've chosen for this class or not. So um, if I want to use equal weighting, I can. If I uncheck this box, it drops down to the categories that are set in the settings. So I can choose whatever categories I want to use and I can give it a weight. So maybe for um, the homework, we're going to give 10% test we're going to give 60% and our labs are going to be 30%. Whatever you choose in weight needs to add up to 100%. So we're going to go ahead and save our changes. If I take you back up to your classroom dashboard, so we're going to click on classroom dashboard at the top, I can look at my grade widget and if you don't have this showing ask your admin to put the grade widget on your dashboard and I can see in chemistry that I have three students and I have an average weighted scale of 96.8 so that's how my students are doing. If you have any further questions regarding grading please contact your administrator.